from the outside. 30 East Drive in Pontefract looks like any other house on the street. However, it has a sinister side hiding within. The house is home to a somewhat evil entity who has come to be known affectionately as Fred or the Black Monk of Pontefract. He is believed to be the most violent poltergeist in Europe and has been making his presence known for over 50 years. The Pritchard family moved into 30 East Drive in August 1966. Almost immediately after moving in, Philip and his grandmother first witnessed a baffling phenomenon. A fine layer of chalk like dust falling not from the ceiling but from a level below head height. In an effort to clean it up before Philip's parents returned, Philip's auntie went to the kitchen to fetch a mop, whereupon she slipped on a pool of water that had mysteriously appeared. In an effort to mop up the water, more pools appeared on the floor in front of her. This was the beginning of several years of incredible, inexplicable events. Green foam appearing from taps and toilet, even after the water was turned off. The tea dispenser being activated, resulting in all the dry tea cascading onto the work surface. Lights being turned off and on. Plants leaping out of their pots and landing on the stairs. Cupboards shaking violently photographs being slashed with a sharp knife, and an endless list of levitating and thrown objects, including a solid oak sideboard. Dubbed Mr. Nobody by the local press in 1968, the family referred to the poltergeist simply as Fred, perhaps as a way of normalising it as no number of initiatives could persuade the entity to leave the family in peace. Exorcisms were met with indignation, wolves would seep holy water, faces were slapped, people were shoved down the stairs, and Fred's hands would appear from nowhere and conduct the Christian songs aimed at shooing him off, whilst wearing huge women's fur gloves. In fact, Many of Fred's antics were both amazing and often highly amusing, like when he calmly poured an entire jug of milk he removed from the fridge over a sceptical aunt leaving the kids in stitches. Ordinarily poltergeists aren't known for causing grievous bodily harm, and although Fred caused a few bruises and scrapes and lot of heart-stopping scares, in particular to Diane, seemingly the focus of the haunting. Late on in his residency, when both Philip and Diane were beginning to exit adolescence, the activity reached a new climatic height, with Diane's long hair suddenly standing on its end, followed by her being dragged kicking and screaming up the stairs in an event that left her seriously traumatised, with clearly visible finger marks on her throat. Okay guys, welcome back. This is uh, day two of our investigation at 30 East Drive. We thought we'd do a little day investigation through the daylight hours just to see if the house is active during the day as we don't see this much often on YouTube most of the investigations that you see are done during the evening so um, we thought we'd give it a go during the day to see if we can get anything come forward so as you can see we're in the living room and what we're going to do I'll just shut this door What we'll do is we'll do a bit of calling out here in the living room. We've got some equipment set up. We've got 
on top of the uh, fireplace there we've got the K2 meter under the cross. We've also got a flashing cat ball in front of Jean Pritchard's photo. So what we'll, so what we'll do is we'll do a bit of calling out. To the spirits of 30 East Drive, my name is Ross. My name is Scott. We're here to investigate this wonderful house. We would love for you to come forward and say hello. We were here last night. We got some activity last night with the mail rem and the flashing balls, particularly in the hallway and on the stairs. Could you come forward please and interact with them again? We have a device above the fireplace under the cross. If you go towards that or even touch it, it should show us some bright colours. There's also a little plastic ball on top of the display cabinet in front of the photo of Jean Pritchard and Joe Pritchard. Maybe you can come forward and touch the ball or even push it off the cabinet. So if there's any spirits connected to 30 East Drive or within this property and you can hear my voice, please come forward. Maybe you can give us a tap, a knock, or maybe a loud bang from upstairs. We'll set the mail room off at the bottom of the stairs again, like did last night. Play with the device. Yeah, on the stairs we've got another flashing cat ball halfway down the stairs. We've got the mail rem device at the bottom of the stairs, which you was playing with last night. We also have a flashing cat ball in the middle of the hallway. So maybe we can hear you come down the stairs and set off the devices. Come on, let's hear you walking about upstairs, please. Come on. Give us a loud bang. <clears throat> now, obviously, this is during the day. This is, what's time, about half 12. So, um, Quarter to two. Quarter to two. So um, you are going to get a lot of noise pollution from outside. There are going to be people walking past. So we've just got to try and dismiss those kind of noises. We're only here for one more evening and then we'll be going tomorrow. So we really would appreciate it if you could just do some stuff for us, please. We know you get asked daily to do stuff here. We apologize that we're doing exactly the same, but 
We know we, we know you must get fed up with it. We just want to communicate with you. We would just to, we would just love to find out who you are and to find out your story as to why you're here at 30 East Drive in Pontefract. Maybe you had connections to the house or maybe you had connections to the land that this house sits on. Do you hear that? It was faint. It was like a... It was upstairs, wasn't it? Yeah, it's like that. I thought it was that area there. It sounded like a... Was that you, Spirit? If it, if it was, can you do that louder for us so that we can hear it more? Please give us a big, loud knock. Tap on the glass that's on the door. Can you tap on the glass? We'll open the door so you can come in. Can you copy this? Okay, we're in the kitchen dining room. You can hear a dripping of the tap in the kitchen and it's just a dripping tap. Do we have anybody with us right now in the house? If we do, can you please make yourself known to us? Just so that we know that you're here. You don't have to do much, just make a bang or a tap We'll set off one of the devices in the hallway and on the stairs. And here you've got the famous coal shed. from all the times that me and Scott have been here. We've always gone in the coal shed and done a little bit in there, but we've never really had any great results in there. Some people have felt claustrophobic in there, especially standing there in the dark, but um, we've done it a few times, haven't we? And yeah, not, not really felt nothing in there, really, we? No. I reckon we should do where one of us sits at the bottom of the stairs and one sits at the top. Yeah. Yeah, if you go up, I'll sit at the bottom. Oh. The dole here as well. Let's see if yeah, yeah. we can ask him to. spirits so I'm at the bottom of the stairs Ross is at the top can you make your can you come down the stairs and 
set up a device or let us know where you are in the house. Can you give us a knock or a tap in the room that you're in? It has to be loud enough for us to hear it. Can you close the bedroom door? Do we have Emma or Emily with us? Or any other children's spirits that want to come forward and say hello? Like we did last night, Spirit, there's a doll at the top of the stairs. What we would love to see and what would really impress us would be if you could push that doll down the stairs towards Scott. Give it a nudge, a push, even throw it if you can. That would be really impressive. Well, there's a device at the bottom of the stairs in front of Scott with a green light on it called a Mel Rem. If you could go towards that and set it off, just like you did last night, you'll know that it doesn't harm you. It just alerts us that you're here. We mean you no harm. We're here respectfully. We're here as friends. This house is known worldwide. It is world famous. And I know lots of people come in and out of this house every single night. And it's all because we want to gather evidence that there is a life after death. Perhaps you enjoy playing games with the guests that come in this house. If we do have Emma or Emily here, we would love to play a game with you. I know I said it last night, but the last time me and Scott were here in November last year, we caught 
an amazing EVP on our camera, which is our best evidence to date. And we believe that is a child whispering, please let me out. If that was you, or you remember doing it, please come forward again and talk into our cameras. Were you trapped? Were you being punished for interacting with us that evening? Or do you feel trapped in the house? Do you need our help in any way? Okay, we're in a room which is known as Philip's bedroom. Now this room we feel is the most active room every time we come here we all seem to get something in this room now behind me there's a cupboard now supposedly in this cupboard there's a portal which is a doorway between our world and theirs and it's believed that there's no actual spirits grounded in the house, but they are able to come and leave when they please. Is that true spirit? Is there a portal or a doorway in this cupboard? If that's true, can you give us two loud knocks? We also have the mail room on the top of this cabinet. If you go towards it, that's all it will do. It will just let us know that you're here. We also have a cat ball in the middle of the room. Are you able to come forward, spirit? Any children here? Emma? Emily? Do we have Simon? Or even Fred? Or anyone else that we haven't called out. Is anyone else here that would like to come and say hello? Are you on the landing? Can you set that device off that's on the floor, please? Go close to it, if you can. Or can you push the marble or the or the plastic ball 
that's on the banister there. Can you push it over? Push it down the stairs. Don't be shy. Come say hello. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if that's because I sat down. Let me try. Why not? Because you're quite away from it though. Try no. Can you do that again for us, please? Are you in front of me? Do you like that device? Please, can you set it off again? Who do we have that's interacting with that device? Is it one of the children? Is it Emily? Emma? Or is there anyone else? We have a doll at the top of the stairs. What we would really love for you to do is to push that doll down the stairs. See if you can reach the bottom. Could you do that for me? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is that you saying yes, you can do that? The doll that's in front of me. Give it one big push down the stairs. That would really impress us. Come and show us what you can do. We know it takes you a lot of energy to do, to push things. And we would appreciate it if if you could build up your energy and push it. You can use our energy. Use the energy from the devices that you have available. Give that dial one big push. See if you can reach the bottom of the stairs. Are you still with us? Set the device off again if you're still with us. This house, 30 East Drive in Pontefract, is world famous. It's known throughout the world. And it's people like you, Spirit, that make this house that famous. That's why people come to this house every single night. A 
and all we're here to do is to find out who is here and to gather any evidence of the paranormal world. And we would be so grateful if you could give us any evidence, any significant evidence, something really impressive and show us why this house is so famous. Do we have Fred, the black monk of Pontefract? Mr. Nobody? Michael? If you're here, can you show us your power? If you still have the power? Can you copy this? We're both upstairs, but can you make a sound downstairs if you're there, if you're downstairs? Maybe tap something in the hallway or the kitchen. Come on, Spirit, I know this is unusual for people to ask you to do this during the day. But we are doing this just to find out if this house is active during the day. You've set, the, you've set that Malrem device off a few times now. Can you do something else for us please? Knock on the chest of drawers over here. Knock on the door. Would you prefer it if we closed the cupboard door? If you would like us to close this door, can you knock on the door twice? If you'd like us to close this door, please knock on it twice and we'll close it. Is that you moving? No. No. You need to knock on the door if you want us to close it. That sounded like come from beyond. I don't know if it was outside or... I heard it like that. Yeah, I heard it. Can you knock on the door like this? If you do that, we'll close the door. If I ring this bell, could you ring it back to us?
Could you ring that bell? Come on, spirits. We'd really appreciate it if you could do it, even if it was just something slight for us. We know it uses your energy that you have. So you, you can take ours, we give it to you freely. If there's anything you can do, whether it be a bang, a knock, pushing something over, tapping me or Ross on the shoulder, shutting a door. No, that was a shuffle. Shutting a door. No, that was a shuffle. Shutting a door. No, that was a shuffle. To me, that sounded like a shuffle out in the land. Like someone's foot. If that was you, can you do it again? You heard that as well, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. To me, it was like a shuffling of feet. <laughs> and it sounded just like out there. Is there someone on the landing outside the bedroom? Did we just hear you? Make it a definite sound. Can you push the doll that's at the top of the stairs? Can you push her down the stairs for us, please? But Fred, are you here with us? Are we getting no interactions because we haven't called for you, Fred? forward we'd love to meet you no matter who you are stop no, stop. yeah show us what you can do 